So in this problem, we're told that the speedometer readings for a motorcycle at 12 second intervals are given in the table. So this is the table we're given. And then for the first one, we're told to estimate the distance traveled by the motorcycles during this time period using the velocities at the beginning of the time intervals. So in order to solve this pro problem, what we should first look at is the distance between each of our x values, or in this case, it's t. So the distance between each of these is going to be 12. So what we want to do is so we're going to take 12, and then we're going to multiply it by each of the velocities at the beginning of the time intervals. So if you imagine each of these as being one time interval, so there's one interval, two interval, three interval, four interval, five interval. So we're going to take the number at the beginning as it starts. So if this is one interval. The number when it starts is 30. So we're going to start with 30. Then let's do another time interval. So the next one it starts at 28. So 28. So we're adding 28. And then the next one, we're going to add 25. The next one, we're going to add 21. And then we have one more interval, 25. And so if you do 30 plus 28 plus 25 plus 21 plus 25, then you multiply this by 12 because this is the uh, gap at the interval, you're going to get uh, 1,548. And so that's going to be the answer to the first part here. So 1,548. And then for the next one, it says give another estimate using the velocities at the end of their time period. So instead of using the numbers in the beginning like we did for the first one, we're going to use the numbers at the end. So if this is the beginning, then if we go one time interval, this is going to be the end of the interval. So we're going to start with 28. So we're going to do 12 times 28 plus we go to the next one. We're going to use 25 for the next. And we add another. It's going to be 21. And then we add another. It's going to be 25. And then add another. It's 27. So plus 25 plus 27. So if you go on your calculator, add all these up, then multiply them, you're going to get 1,512. So this is going to be the answer to the second one. And then for C, it says, are your estimates in part A and B upper and lower estimates? So basically, it's asking whether or not um, we have an overestimation or underestimation. And so the way you can tell this is just by looking at the options. So I think, so let's just look at them. So uh, let's look at A and or the second two first. So it says A is a lower estimate and B is an upper estimate because V is an increasing function of T. If we look at V, it does, we can see that it decreases in the beginning. So it goes from 30 to 28 to 25 to 21, but then it increases again. So it's kind of like a gap like this. Not exactly, but it goes down and then it goes back up. So then that means it's not an increasing function. It's not a decreasing function. So neither of these can be right. And so it's going to be, some of these numbers are going to be overestimations, or this one's going to give us an overestimation on some of them and an underestimation on others. And it's the same for this one. So the answer for this is going to be, uh, the first one. And so these are going to be the answers to this problem.